It's a hard pass on me, right? No. Have you ever done something where you were just like, like a boss? Have you done that right? Have you ever had like a like a boss moment? Oh, yeah, absolutely. They're usually complete luck. Ah, huh, well, that's where you see, Ryan, it was on purpose. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta pretend. The key is to lie with <laughs> conviction. Exactly. But today, we're going to watch incredible like a boss moments. And I'm ready for this, Ryan, because I love to watch some epic shit. Everyone has those moments in which we do That's something cool. completely remarkable oh. that we wished we had on film. Luckily, thanks to everyone okay. having cameras nowadays, oh, I've we seen can that see one. these moments more often. <laughs> that one was, was so Jamaica, sick, you know. A man decided to try out the huge water slide at the hotel. Ah, I mean, that, that's, that was Most pretty cool. time, if you drop your phone into a crowd of hundreds of people from a story above, chances are you'll never see it again. A really cool moment happened at a football match, when fans helped another fan in the top what? level to get his phone back after he dropped it. Oh, yeah, that's sick. <laughs> that's actually sick. That's actually sick, you know. In Japan, there are some accountants who are able to use the calculator extremely fast in the workplace Bruh. for things such as checking if sales match the amount on the computer. And there are also classes in which they teach you how to properly use a calculator. And the speed I'm of sorry, some of the what? students is incredible. My guy, your fingers become I'm that, that's not Sometimes possible. it seems that rock climbers <laughs> look be. like they can defy gravity. Miho <laughs> Nonaka is one of the best female climbers in the world. And during the Climbing World Cup, she got into a tricky situation in which she had to climb upside down, which showed the incredible amount of strength she what? has. God damn. Like the strength you must have in your fingers, right? <laughs> Never skip finger there, Ryan. Apparently, yeah. Aye, that's when a man that's saw sick. that his friend was being oh, chased by an this. alligator, he at first tried throwing some sticks I've in hopes this. it will scare the alligator away. But when he noticed that wasn't working, he decided to jump directly at the alligator. <laughs> yes. And even though it didn't make any damage, the massive splash was enough to scare him away. That's sick, you know. <laughs> I'll, I'll, right, you gotta go for it, man. In a I'll, I'll do that for you, Ryan. By Dr. Pepper, you had to throw the most footballs into a giant can of Dr. Pepper to win $100,000 in tuition money. That's when a two lot competitors of money. went at it, the nurse student managed to win by throwing the ball in a non traditional uh, way by using her bruh. two hands. <laughs> Yeah, but it's for that kind of money. You just go for it. You don't have to do it properly. I mean, she's not missing. Nah. Oh, she missed that one. Oh. That's that's impressive. Hey. Fair dues. That's Congrats. that's impressive. If someone were to tell you that a person can count money faster than a machine, you would think they're lying. Yeah. But there are some workers who specialize in this skill and can count thousands of bills in seconds. What? Um, I've never had a much that much money to do that in real life to even try oh. that to even try and attempt that but okay oh that's pretty sick like despite monster yeah. trucks yeah. weighing well over oh. 10,000 pounds somehow people oh. can still make amazing tricks on them like leo donnell who did the first front flip on a monster truck I mean, I mean, I mean, at that, at that, at that point, you, you completed life. At a Japanese street food like, stand, one of the workers showed his incredible skill of transferring oh, the food into the container <laughs> in a matter of seconds. Let's no go, my guy. Let's go. go. Incredible. Heck yeah! Oh, he missed one. No, I'm, ah. I'm not impressed. I'm not impressed. I'm not sure. <laughs> During the finals of a jet ski competition, the world champion Lee Stone managed to pull off an amazing double backflip, oh, which yeah, left everyone sick. in shock. Jesus I wish. I mean, I mean, I've never tried that before. That's on my bucket list too. You know, I want to try stuff like that. Not the two I times. Can't swim. I would just try. Yeah. I want to try. During jet a game skis. against the Lakers, oh, this is LeBron one. managed to fool the entire team with a no-look pass. <laughs> That's so sick. Like, it's so sick. It's so cold that moment. I like it. I love it. Death diving is a Norwegian sport in which you have to maintain this. a pose as long it's... as you can. Mm. And when it looks like you're about to do a belly flop, you have to tuck your body in. The closer you get to the water before tucking in, the more points you get. Here's one of the yeah, athletes it's... making an incredible stunt and tucking barely in time. Ooh, that oh, is it's a hard sweet. pass on me, Ryan. Oh, I nice. no, I no, right no, I'm that never, never. I could never. An absolutely unbelievable moment to watch is this athlete who's practiced long jumping by progressively adding distance with cardboard cups. And okay. by the end, he jumps over around 60 cups, Bruh. which would be approximately 19 feet. And it even looks like he's walking in the air. <laughs> okay, that's that's actually that's actually that's actually cool. I Even though that. this doesn't look environmentally friendly at all, these group of guys managed to make one of the fastest boats ever. But the high Bro. speed only lasts a few seconds because of the engine situation. The environment is screaming right now. Oh yeah. Wait, oh. Full on truck engine. <laughs> the face, my. <laughs> Jesus. 
That actually looks quite funny, Even though. Even though bodyboarding is usually limited to the ocean, there are oh. many people who realized the dam in Australia, named the Clary Hall Dam, was kind of the perfect place to slide down through. I think I heard about this. Didn't they close it afterwards? I put up, like, surveillance oh, cameras. Really so. It doesn't look that dangerous to me. And well, after the video uh, of people going down the spillway became kind of viral, the city had to install CCTV cameras to go. monitor and find All people right. who attempted going go. down the slide. Ah, oh, yeah. man. Just let people have that Taekwondo fun, Taekwondo you know? is a Korean <laughs> martial art, which main focus are on kicking moves. And the best fighters in the sport can make incredibly fast and elaborate kicks pulled. that get the oh, speeds of well over 60 God miles damn. per hour. There are even what tournaments hell? which focus solely on the art of kicking, and they are mesmerizing to watch. Bro, how? Lord. One, two, three. I'm, I reckon he could chuck in a fourth. When a I clean robot get tried interrupting like a fast conversation, you, he pushed it away very smoothly. <laughs> <laughs> that, that cat is not having it. <laughs> not exactly sure no, no. what happened here, but definitely a hard thing to explain to your boss is that a monkey came through the window and stole money from the register. And by what? the looks of it, the monkey was trained. <laughs> no, wait, no, I actually heard about this. Like, people trade. I mean, he, he literally just said it. I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry, yeah, they train monkeys to literally steal mo money. It's. Oh, it, uh, I need to get a monkey. No, you don't, Ryan. <laughs> no, you don't. I'm just gonna be. I wonder if I can train my, sa my sausage dog to do it. <laughs> but your dog can just be cute and just, you know. I don't know. Distract them while I rob them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I teach them some cuter tricks. <laughs> a freestyle roller skating session is a very technical practice, which involves making tricks around a lineup right. of cones that are on a straight line and equally spaced. How many and the times talent would you these fall, skaters Ryan? have is on another oh, level. Oh God! I wouldn't even get up in the first place. Like. This guy must get all the girls, you know? <laughs> like, do you see these moves? Do you see these moves? I like his haircut too, it's actually pretty nice. For those who don't know, altocellarophobia is the irrational fear of ceiling collapsing. Well, during a hockey game, this became true what? when all the players noticed the roof was about to fall down. And luckily, everyone managed whoa, to get out whoa. safely, and no one was injured. Okay. Yeah, no. <laughs> How the hell does that happen? I have no idea, but... A lot of rain and a badly designed roof. I want my money back. <laughs> Even though there are techniques which people use to cut a watermelon in perfect pieces in under 30 seconds, a farmer decided to take to a complete other level by okay. cracking it with his hand. What? Has that, has that been, be, been pre-cuts or was that just really hey, impressive? Stephon Holm is a former Olympic he athlete who can jump higher than huh. his actual height. He even jumps in a way that almost looks fake because how effortless he makes it seem. I mean, this he guy must, he must weigh like 20 kilos. Rolls Royces are some of the most sophisticated <laughs> and also expensive cars in the world. Ride. With most people who buy them not driving them, but instead being Look chauffeured cool in them. That is. At a Cars event, racer Daryl Jones decided to put a $400,000 Rolls Royce in the track and uh -huh. push it to the limit. Something never done before with a Cullinan. Don't tell me if he crashes this. It sounds a bit. When the mm. lights from a light post behind right, a coach okay. doing an interview was interfering with the footage, a crazy thing happened. When he raised oh, his hand to drive an insect away, he turned off the lights. <laughs> That's cool. At a yeah, college basketball halftime, one of the performers shocked the entire crowd when she was able to shoot an arrow using her feet and managed to what? hit the target perfectly. No way. I mean, How do you during start a baseball, developing that skill? That's like eight weird skills all built together. I'm I'm lost for words, right? Like 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 you say, how do you develop to develop that talent? How how are you gonna wake up one day and just be like, you know what? I'm gonna stand on my hands throwing arrows with this bow. I, I, like it does make sense. Like how? Like, Training itself is a weird ability, I would say nowadays. <sighs> Gymnastics also a fairly strange ability nowadays. Combining the two of them into this is somehow like three levels higher of weird. Yeah, but it's still impressive. I don't know how you get that in your head in the first place. Me neither, but right, okay, it, it is impressive though. It is impressive. Oh, it's hella impressive. <laughs> but like, I'm not taking that away from it. But I just want to know how, like, what thought process got them there. <laughs> uh, three scoops of uh, of pre workout and Red Bull does something to you, Ryan. Let me just say that. Do you think they had both of those skills before? Do you think they were like an incredible acrobat and an incredible archer, and then we're like, I wonder if I can combine these. Or do you think one day they just woke up and were like? 
Archery acrobatics, of course. <laughs> Why, of course. Why have I never How thought of this? How did I think of this? <laughs> Why, it it's all makes sense now. The biathlon. <laughs> Bro, the skiing and shooting is acrobatic archery. <laughs> oh, God. All right. During a baseball game, an unbelievable moment happened when one of the players threw the bat to the ground and it landed standing. <laughs> Wait, what? Would never happen in a hundred years. Bruh. At a beach in Maui in 2001, right. Mike Parson managed to successfully ride a 64-foot wave, which awarded him the highest prize I'm in the history just, of no, surfing at the time, no, which was no. $66,000. Yeah, no, I, I do not want I, anything to do I with do this. I do not F with the ocean. No. It's, I'm good. Which is terrible because, because I live on an island. <laughs> activities such as rock skipping are possible, with the world record allegedly being 88 skips. Here is Dougie Isaacs making 88. a stone skim, a total distance of 400 feet, which was an Bruh. official world record in terms of distance traveled. That is a hell of a I think I've done four and I was proud, but now I'm ashamed. What the hell? I've seen a kid get hit with a stone that was being skipped. They had been underwater. It's no secret that if you do surface just never get cracked in the head with it. <laughs> Did not appreciate that. No, no. <laughs> do a lot of commuting in large cities, you'll likely find some rude passengers almost on a daily basis. Yeah. A reporter from the Inside Edition decided to confront a rude commuter who placed his bags on the seat next to him. Oh, on that's a train. such a douchebag well, move. The passenger was really caught off guard. I just put it there when I got here. Nobody asked me to move it, so I didn't. Why should somebody have to ask you to move yeah. a piece of luggage when like, this place is completely packed? There's room up above. Why don't you put your... Okay, maybe... Honestly, Ryan, when I'm taking the bus here, yeah, the bus mm -hmm. doesn't even have to be, like, completely full. If I know the space is in the back, but, uh, you, you know, I still take my bag onto my lap instead. If I see people walk in, just so they have the option to sit if they want to sit, you know, further into... I hate some people, man. Some yeah, people see... Still... I'm kind of I'm kind of in a weird middle ground with this one because, like, personally, I will always try to leave the seat next. But Karen might have my bag at my feet, you know that stuff. Mm. That's personally what I do. At the same time, though, if you've got something like again, with like a small luggage bag on a bus or something like that that doesn't fit particularly well at your feet or anything like that, having it on the seat next to you is, I suppose, a reasonable thing to do. But I'm a strong believer that. It's just as reasonable to like store your bag as it is to ask someone to move their bag. Mm -hmm. I only take exception with it when someone refuses. Yeah. In which case, I will move it for them. <laughs> and give them, a, give them a slap across the face. <laughs> just like pick their bag up, put it on their lap, and then sit down. Like, you're moved, Tuckle. <laughs> Either the, the, the bag goes onto your lap or I go onto your lap. <laughs> Wait, no, no, that's a different case. Hold on. <laughs> All right, let's just continue. Yeah. Let's just continue. Maybe <laughs> this is more luck than anything, but a man's life completely changed when a meteor hit his house, and he decided to check it out if it's worth anything. Okay. Turns out the space rock was 4.5 billion years old and worth a whopping 1.4 million euros. Jesus what? Christ! But okay. I don't even own the place. It's fine. Damn. But okay, Ryan. Uh, thank you guys for watching so much. Uh, blah blah blah. Thank you for 630k subs. We don't have that quite yet, but. Uh, <laughs> We're Someday. working. Someday, maybe. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss an upload. I will leave a link to both Ryan and the original video and I will see you in the next one. Take care and peace. I'm back like I ain't never left. Take me to church here, let me confess. Last year I had a lot on my mind like Tony Stark. Couldn't get it off my chest. But now I'm back to back like I'm Ori. Reborn, yeah, everything blessed. From the ashes brings a new story. Show, don't tell, I'ma ace this test. Last year on the K on the ad.